Guys, it's official. California is a hoax. A lot of the branches are on the floor. So this is the rain. Nolan! Nolan! Go pee pee! Pee pee! What? No. Technically, it's a tropical storm, but like, who fucking cares? Hey girls, I keep having to refilm this because whenever I talk about Wilbert, I start getting emotional and that's not how I want to explain why Wilbert was in the animal hospital and what exactly happened with him. But um, for context right now, at least, it's raining a lot. It's Sunday, August 20th, 12.17 p.m. I actually got an emergency alert from the National Weather Service on my phone like about half an hour ago saying that there was a flash flood warning. You get the gist. Like, I think that just confirms that here in LA, we are going to get a lot of rain a lot more rain than we're used to i do know that we aren't experiencing like a full hurricane we're just experiencing a tropical storm but it's still a lot of rain and again we are not used to this rain at least for my mom and i we're in a very fortunate situation we have food and water at home we are safe and comfortable and dry and so are wilbert and nolan although wilbert's sick right now but my point still stands like we are safe and we'll be okay throughout the whole thing so yeah we're in a very fortunate situation thankfully but the reason why I'm making this video is just to make myself feel better because the timing of everything right now is just definitely not ideal. So let me give you a whole backstory before I explain Wilbur and right now during the hurricane. So for like the past month, my parents have planned to take a trip to the Bay Area with my older brother because he goes to school in the Bay Area. So they're gonna go to the Bay Area together and drop him off at school and that'd be the trip, right? So this weekend, supposedly, I would be home alone with Wilbur and Nolan and I'd just be home alone for like the whole weekend, right? until my parents would come back. We didn't know there was gonna be a hurricane this weekend. Fast forward to Friday. Wilbert has been throwing up a lot and he would eat and whatever he would eat and drink would come right back out. Friday night, he started pooping out liquid and it was just leaking out of his butthole. So basically diarrhea, but it just would not stop coming out of his butt. And then Saturday morning, which was yesterday, there was blood in his poop. He didn't seem to be getting any better. So ultimately my dad made the decision to take him to the animal hospital and I I went with my dad. We took Wilbur in the morning and we weren't able to bring him back home until nighttime. So you can imagine that we've been waiting for a long time. Wilbur has been in the hospital waiting for a long time as well. Overall, the hospital took a really long time to do anything. There were a lot of animals that came in yesterday that were in critical condition. So I don't blame the hospital at all for prioritizing other animals over Wilbur. However, I still do find it really frustrating how long we had to wait, how long Wilbur had to wait just to get any care done or any treatment because at the end of the day Wilbur cannot speak for himself right we have to advocate for him so really I feel like the only reason why we were able to actually pick up Wilbur last night was because my parents were nagging the hospital my parents were really angry with the hospital for taking so long to do anything really or they eventually got really angry and I don't want to get too much into the details because we'd be here forever but I was really frustrated too can you hear the rain? It's like raining a lot. I think it's going to rain even harder later on tonight, but let's get through the story first. Yeah, I just really didn't like how Wilbert had to wait so long just to receive any treatment at all. You know, he wasn't going to die anytime soon for sure, but he still deserved at least some medical attention rather than having to wait there the whole day just to get treatment. But you know what? We got Wilbert back and that's all that matters. And there's like a lot of other things that happened too, but I won't get into it because that's not really regardless regarding Wilbert and his case. So yeah, when we picked Wilbert up, the hospital gave us medication to give Wilbert. I'll show you the medication later, but basically the medication is supposed to help with Wilbert's stomach and his diarrhea issues. Wilbert's not throwing up or having diarrhea anymore, but Wilbert still hasn't been eating. They did give Wilbert an anti-nausea shot in the hospital, but Wilbert still doesn't want to eat. He still doesn't have an appetite. If I don't like film Wilbert in this video, it's because I'm giving Wilbert some privacy of his own. He is alive. He is, you know, he's just sleeping downstairs, but Wilbur is definitely still very weak. And so what else happened yesterday? We also had other things going on at home, right? Like my brother needed to go up to the Bay Area and my brother was getting really upset because he couldn't go to the Bay Area because he has to work today in the Bay Area, right? So he was getting really upset too. And so my dad ended up taking my brother to Bay Area in the evening. And then my mom and I went to go pick up Wilbur. And that was the first time I ever drove a dog my car. But yeah, Wilbert's safe now for sure. But 
but Wilbert still doesn't want to eat. My dad's really good at forcing Wilbert to eat because my dad will forcefully shove food down Wilbert's mouth, but it's something that I've been struggling to do. Like I know that I need to, and no matter how hard I try to force Wilbert to eat, he basically would not eat. And I am stronger than my mom, but I'm definitely not as strong as my dad. So my dad's currently driving down from the Bay Area to come back home tonight, even if it means for him to drive down when it's raining really hard. So again, not that I think that Wilbert's an inconvenience because we all love Wilbert. It's just stupid how there's a hurricane going on during all of this. And it's so stupid that my dad has to take my brother to the Bay Area, like all the way across the other side of the state when Wilbert is really sick and really needs my dad. Just the whole timing of everything just sucks really. So yeah, as for Wilbert right now, um, I've been trying to feed him. He doesn't want to eat. The hospital told us to feed Wilbert like chicken and rice. He doesn't want to eat when normally he loves chicken and rice. He doesn't want to eat anything. He still doesn't have any energy at all. Wilbert even doesn't even get upset at Nolan anymore. Or like when my mom picks off like Wilbert's um, shedding fur from like off of Wilbert. Wilbert normally would get upset but he wasn't even like he didn't even flinch when my mom was like picking off like the dead fur, the loose fur, you know? So just like this whole, this whole, the timing of everything just sucks really. I, and he's still not eating and I can't give him his medication and as much as I want to give Wilbert his medication, he cannot take it on an empty stomach but he won't eat so he can't have his medication as well. And then a while ago, my mom and I decided to try to give him chicken broth because at least if he won't eat something, then maybe he can drink something that still has some nutrients, you know? But even just drinking the chicken broth, he doesn't want to do. He'll drink water, but he won't drink the chicken broth, so. And I think the only reason why he is not throwing up the water he is drinking is because of the anti-nausea shot, but still he's not eating. And at the end of the day, my parents and I just want Wilbur to eat. So that's what's been going on. I'm probably leaving some things out, but I got the main points down. Wilbur is safe, he's home, but he's still not fully okay yet. Um, the doctor who left before we came to pick up Wilbur, by the way, when I still had more questions to ask, you know? Oh, just the whole situation sucks. But yeah, the doctor thinks that Wilbur has gastroenteritis. I don't even exactly know what that is because the doctor left before I could even ask. Yeah, the doctor isn't even so sure what Wilbur has. So just the whole situation sucks, really. And I'm gonna stop talking now before I start getting really sad. So um, yeah, right now I'm just going to edit my Geo video while I still have power at home. I filmed a Geo album unboxing the other day and I still need to finish editing it. So I'll edit it right now. Okay, so I'm about to go back down and I'm gonna swap turns with my mom who is currently watching Wilbur downstairs. So, um, but first let me show you what happened to this poor tree. Um, it got worse throughout the day. Earlier this morning, it was just like one branch and now it's uh, very evident that something happened to this tree so I'm gonna show you the tree I'm not trying to expose too much of the neighbor's house but this is our tree and uh, the branches are not really you know they're uh, they're they're not really yeah uh, a lot of the branches are on the floor the tree normally doesn't do that so uh, this is a very new experience definitely but now I'm gonna pack my stuff and I'm gonna move downstairs and yeah I got a little bit of editing out of the way I still have to finish the whole video but I'm gonna finish editing downstairs and I'm also a little hungry so I have to find something to eat but there's food at home so I don't really need to worry about starving or anything like that. And here's Nolan. He's just laying here. He was following me around. But yeah. Hi, baby. No one's okay. Wilbert's the one who was sick. Wilbert is still sick. But yeah, like, Nolan's been a good sport. He's been very sweet. Like, yesterday, Wilbur, my dad and I were at the hospital, and my mom stayed with Nolan at home. My brother was also home, too, but not that that matters. And my mom said that Nolan was being very sad. Nolan wasn't as, like, happy as usual, and no one could sense that something was going on. And then when my mom and I brought Wilbur back home, Nolan was so happy to see Wilbur. So Nolan's, you know, been really sweet, and he hasn't gone in too much trouble lately, which has been really good really nice so I'm gonna go back down and I'm gonna show you around the house and show you Wilbert's medication that he's supposed to take but cannot take because he's not eating so let's go down I have this chair here by the stairs for Nolan because this acts as like Nolan's baby gate so I can just move the chair and cover the stairs for Nolan and he won't go downstairs so that's just what I do when I need Nolan to stay upstairs or you know something like that but yeah Nolan's been a good boy 
Okay, so I'm sitting at the dining table. I'm gonna go sit with Wilbert by the couch um, after I'm done eating. But this is what I'm eating right now. I'm hungry. So I'm eating meatballs. These are just like meatballs from a place that my mom and I went to on Friday. But um, oh yeah, the rain outside is crazy. It rained a lot harder just within like the past like 10 seconds. So this is the rain. I don't know if you can hear me talking, but there's the rain. That's where the boys normally can keep behind the plants over there on the pebbles. Uh, my mom's plants are all in the backyard, but a lot of them are under the patio because, yeah, if you didn't know, Wilbur used to live outside, so, yeah, that's why you have a patio, and we have a thermometer there, but I don't know why I'm giving you a backyard tour, but yeah, my mom moved all of her plants underneath here so that they wouldn't get destroyed under the rain, so we have, like, a lot of succulents and, like, these are, um, cacti and just a lot of different plants, and, yeah, it's crazy, and the rain is crazy, yeah. Nothing significant about the rain. It's only been rain. No lightning, no strong winds, it's just rain. If you notice, this is the water bowl that used to be in Nolan's crate, but I switched the bowls. Oh, no one's drinking water. Hi, baby. I switched bowls because Wilbur, he doesn't have as much strength now, so I gave him a bowl that's like more shallow, so it's easier for him to drink. Wilbur's here by the couch. He is just chilling here, sleeping. He's very weak, so baby. Mm, I love you too. Yes. Hi, baby. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna shove the camera in his face, really. If he shows up on camera, then he shows up on camera, but I'm not gonna explicitly shove the camera in his face and, like, tell him to smile because I know he is not feeling well. He is still sick. I'm just petting his head right now, just gently massaging his head because I know that he is not feeling the best right now. But anyway, my dad's on his way back home now, but obviously to drive all the way from the Bay Area back to LA will take a couple of hours, so he should be back by the end of tonight but with like the rain going on i just hope that he makes it back home safely i'm pretty sure the rain's only gonna get worse from here i don't really know what a hurricane is supposed to be like because i've never lived through one but i don't think la is getting hit the hardest so uh, okay anyway i'm gonna resume eating i'm like real hungry so t2y so even though wilbur hasn't been taking his medication because he hasn't been eating and he needs to eat his medication with his food right um let me show you his medication anyway because it was one of the reasons why we took Wilbert to a hospital in the first place. So the hospital put all of his medication and all of his stuff in this medication bag, so, or prescription bag, in this prescription bag. So let me go through each and every one. Um, keep in mind that I am not a vet or like a dog trainer or anything. Like I don't know shit about medication and dog medicine brands or anything like that. So what? Okay, well, I got this emergency alert about an earthquake that I didn't even feel. Um, says earthquake detected, whatnot. I'm just trying to show off Wilbert's medication. My God. I don't know what's in these pills. I'm like covering the hospital information and stuff, but I don't know what's in these pills. I just know I have to give Wilbert half a tablet every 12 hours for seven days. But Wilbert hasn't been eating his food, so I can't give him these pills, right? The pills essentially look like this, and I'm supposed to break them in half on my own. But yeah, those are the pills. Yeah, in all caps, the container says give with food, so... What? No. Next, we got this huge ass box and it comes with like a syringe and a sheet of capsules. So I'm gonna show you the syringe. I think this is really cool. I've never seen anything like this where you, you know, squeeze it into your dog's mouth. Like never seen anything like this. These other medications, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to give on an empty stomach, which is why it's so important for Wilbur to be able to eat before he can actually have these medications that will help him overall, right? So what's cool about this is you can like shimmy this around to a specific amount you need to give your dog right and here there are like all these different numbers so you can measure how much you're giving to your dog and this is like the sheet of capsules and you're just supposed to take one out open it and sprinkle the powder into the dog's food for the syringe i'm supposed to give wilbur 5 ml every eight hours for three days and for these capsules i just sprinkle it into his food once every 24 hours so once every day until we finish all of these capsules i'm not exactly so sure what each medication does but overall it's supposed to help with wilbur's stomach and wilbur's diarrhea issues yeah so that's his medication again i'm not so familiar with like 
dog medicine and things like that but yeah hopefully me showing you what type of medication we're supposed to give Wilbur like gives you a little bit of an insight of like what's going on with him the hospital also gave us some like papers when we discharged him when his like hospital bill which kind of racked up a good amount of money not gonna lie and they also gave us papers about like how much medicine to give him and also everything that the doctor observed and like his diagnostic results and things like that so just yeah that's everything that's in this bag my dad is on his way back home and once my dad is back home he can actually forcefully feed Wilbert because he's the only one who's actually strong enough for that. How the fuck was there an earthquake and I didn't feel it and I was literally just talking to y'all showing off all of Wilbert's medication so this 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 whole this whole weekend this whole day is so strange I swear. Anyway I'm gonna move to the couch. Update no one's trying to pee pee right now but uh yeah it's still raining and Nolan Nolan go pee pee Look, see, look at how drenched Nolan is. Oh, kind of wet, not gonna lie. Mmm, okay. Oh, that tree is making a finger heart. How cute. No, but really, I don't know if you can tell, but it really is raining a lot. Yeah, it is raining a lot. I don't think it's gonna flood in my backyard, but those are some really big puddles. Low key, my backyard is getting jungle forest. High key, whoa. I think it's just because of all the plants, but... Not gonna lie, when it rains and it's cloudy, like, my backyard looks so pretty. And it's not even my backyard either. It's my mom. Like, my mom was the one who planted all these plants, and it took her a few years to get the backyard looking the way it is now, like a jungle. But yeah, my mom, she's not, like, a professional gardener or anything. She just grows a lot of plants because it was, like, my grandma's wish for my mom to make the backyard look pretty. Because my grandma had always thought the backyard looked really ugly. So that's why, after my grandma died, my mom was, like, planting all these plants and now the backyard looks the way it does except these plants are normally not here normally this is like our seeding area and stuff so Nolan stop it stop it stop it go pee 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 no okay go back in go back in good boy good boy let's close this door hey baby okay Go play. But for real though, how the hell was there an earthquake? Like a really strong one, but I did not feel it guys. It's official California is a hoax. Hi, baby. Let me go get Wilbert some water. Wilbert, drink some water. You didn't drink water for a while. Come on, drink some water. Okay. Hey, baby. Are we watching Wilbert drink water? Do you want to drink water too? Hi, baby. Oh. Oh, yeah. You love being center of attention, huh? Mmm. Wilbert's drinking some water, which is really good. Um, he's been sleeping, and I've been editing my YouTube video, which I plan on uploading today at 5 p.m., but don't think that's the case because I'm really tired. And honestly, I just want to stop editing and just watch some TV with Wilbur and Nolan because they're both just, you know, they're here, and I'm here too. And, you know, when they go back to school, we won't necessarily have the time, the three of us, to just watch TV together, you know? So let me see where my dad is. It's still raining. I literally don't even know when like the hurricane is supposed to come like when like it's peak raining you know like peak storm i clearly don't know how hurricanes work or just tropical storms in general let's see where my dad is i really hope that my dad comes back home soon as possible because wilbert still hasn't eaten yet and i really 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 want wilbert to eat he's drinking a lot of water so i don't know whether or not that's good but see he's been like drinking non-stop and then here's nolan nolan is not looking at the camera hi baby look here hi baby Hi. But yeah, Wilbur's drinking water. Oh, my dad is like a lot closer to home now. He's currently in Bakersfield. So he's on his way back home for sure. But he's definitely not in Northern California anymore. I think Bakersfield is considered Central California. But he is coming down south. So he's coming. Rain update. This is what it's like at the moment. It's getting rainforest here. Tropical jungle. Um... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what my mom is doing and also just pee pee because I need to pee pee.
so the time right now is 10 01 p.m and great news in fact this is where i'm at right now you see this icon here and so this is a storm and this is the storm's path and we are in the storm's path. Guys, like how fun is that? Right now my parents are sleeping. I'm downstairs in the living room with Nolan and Wilbert. Yeah, I was about to continue editing, but I decided to check on what's going on with Miss Hillary. Well, Miss Hillary is not technically a hurricane anymore, but I'm gonna call her a hurricane because that's what she was. So yeah, I'm gonna call her a rain cloud because that's what she was. Yeah, um, I think Nolan needs to go pee pee, so I'm gonna let him out and we'll see how bad the rain is outside. It's supposed to get windy tonight so um okay baby go. Go, go go uh the rain is really light so i'm just gonna assume that uh go baby go baby baby it's okay just go baby no 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 okay yeah but i'm just gonna assume that the rain is gonna get worse later tonight but right now it's pretty calm just really light rain definitely a lot lighter than what we've been seeing today actually remember the tree i showed you earlier i'm not so sure how that tree will hold up after tonight when there's like a lot of wind and stuff but my mom did tell the neighbor that they should move their car just in case the tree does fall over because the tree might fall on their car so yeah um that's what's been going on for the most part i'm awake right now and i'm gonna be watching wilbert and make sure that he He's okay not vomiting or throwing up or anything like that or diarrhea um and then at like three something in the morning i am going to wake up my dad and we are going to give wilbert something to eat and a bit more of his medication no one is walking around in the backyard i want him to go pee pee poo poo not walk around hey girls good morning today is monday august 21st the time right now is 11 15 a.m i just woke up and now it's time to give wilbert his squirty squirty medication throughout the past couple of hours we've been giving him his other medications as well because again like one of them we need to give him every 12 hours another we need to give him every eight hours another we need to give him is like once every 24 hours right so we have to like keep track of the different times we give him the medication so we can give him the right medications at the right time i haven't really been filming him that much because it takes an army to feed him and to give him his medications and it's a really stressful situation for Wilbert so I don't think it's appropriate to film him throughout all of it right and most of this weekend has been about Wilbert so if I haven't been filming that much that's why so I may have included Wilbert a little bit but it's only a little bit it's not raining anymore and it's not like I have to go to school because I finished my summer term already and my school year hasn't started yet but my campus did shut down today because of the hurricane so but I do know that all of the high schools and elementary schools in my area have reopened schools today which i think is really stupid because there definitely is flooding in la i'm pretty sure it's just that you'll never know where you know your students are living some students have a permit and they live far away and they're gonna have difficulty coming to school because of the flooding right yeah i just i'll show you the damage outside it's really not much damage again my family is in a very fortunate situation where we live in a sturdy house we're safe we're dry we also moved as many things as we could so they wouldn't fly away from the rain or from the wind i don't really think it was that windy but yet again like all the windows were closed and the blinds were closed too so i actually don't really know how windy it was i do know it was raining really hard last night but yeah our first hurricane technically it's a tropical storm but like who fucked if you see other Californians like absolutely not caring and just making fun of the whole situation, don't blame them. That's just what we do as Californians. We just live it up and make the best of our situation. I wish I could be living it up right now, but because of like the timing of everything, especially with Wilbert's sickness, I don't feel very excited this weekend, so. But we're gonna get through it and Wilbert has been eating. It's just that, again, it takes an army to feed him. Wilbert has not been eating on his own. We have to force him to eat, which which means that his appetite isn't back yet but i do hope that the medication will help he hasn't been vomiting or having diarrhea he hasn't really been eating that much so he doesn't really have anything to shit out but yeah he hasn't been vomiting which is really really good so we don't need to take him back luckily okay so i'm gonna prepare wilbert's food and i'm gonna wake my dad and we're going to feed him the squirty squirty medicine okay so keep this chart on the fridge and i have a magnet so you know we can detach it whenever so i have like time and date and then the different medications wilbert is taking so we have the tablet squirt and the capsule 12 hours 8 hours 24 hours and i have the date and time here and so it's time to take the squirty squirty medication the last time was 3 30 a.m now it's almost 11 30 so we need to take the squirty squirty again hi buddy 
Hoi, hoi, hoi. So this is Wilbert's leftover food from this morning. It's just chicken and rice. Okay, so this is rice and this is chicken. I need to refill the chicken bowl. But don't worry, it's still fresh. Everything is still fresh. So I'm gonna add a little more rice into this and a little more chicken as well. So next I'm gonna microwave his meal. It's cause the rice is really hard from being in the fridge. So I'm going to microwave it for like 30 seconds so that the rice is softer. The doctor says that Whooper can only eat bland foods. She literally wrote chicken and rice on the paper. So that's what we're feeding him. We're feeding him chicken and rice. Before getting sick, Whooper would eat like a variety of different foods. Of course, foods that dogs can eat. But um, yeah, like Whooper used to be a pretty good foodie and now it's really hard for him to eat anything. So mix. Mixy mixy. You know no one was laying down with Wilbur over there? Did you see? No, oh it's like the uncle. And now he smells food, so he's coming here. No, no, why did you leave your toy in the water bowl? He only dropped um his toy into the water bowl. It's just a few menace, that's where Wilbur drinks. I'm just gonna get that much because. This is Nolan's breakfast, and he's gonna eat it outside right now while my dad and I take care of Wilbur. Gnu, sit. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, fine, eat. Just eat. I just want you to eat. Um, this is what the jungle looks like, and Nolan, continue eating. Yeah, um, my mom just cleaned the patio because there were worms here, but now no one can eat here because there are no worms. But yeah, Nolan's just eating. Here's Woo Woo. He is awake, and he is here with us right now. He's just chilling. He looks really tired, though, but he's about to eat something. My dad is waking up, and I'm just waiting for my dad to fully wake up. So right now, my breakfast is being microwaved in the microwave. I'm just gonna eat my leftover noodles from the other day, but, um, um, yeah, I guess I can show you the front yard right now. No one's currently outside in the backyard eating still, so let's quickly show you the damage in the front yard and this will be a time for me to look at the tree. Okay, so we have a lemon tree and a branch fell off, so um, um, but yeah, not that bad. We can see like a lemon here, so yeah, it is a lemon tree. I rate this a uh, 2 or 3 out of 10 on the damage scale. My mom's fences, uh, they're just like little fences for like her plants just to divide them. Uh, they're falling over, so 1 out of 10, like really easy to fix. This monstrosity of the tree that, oh my god, look, look at that. It's just like the tree, the poor tree. This is really sad, actually. Um, oh wow, uh, I'd rate this like in 7 or 8 out of 10 because of how this tree looks. Like, this tree has been here since before I was born, since before my parents moved in. But at least I didn't park my car in the driveway or else like the tree would have fallen on it. So, oh, poor tree. But yeah, 7 or 8 out of 10 just because no one got hurt and nothing got hurt. It's just the poor tree so and then my dad and i took the boys out on a walk and we were just looking around to see if there was any damage done in like other people's houses but it was just our house and our two trees so yeah but don't worry we took it really easy on Wilbur. we walked at his pace and we didn't really walk that much to be honest we just yeah we were really gentle and easy. This was just a really good opportunity for Wilbur to get some air. And yeah, no deadly storm damages in my area. Hey girls, I'm gonna film this really quick. Um, I'm about to film a back to school supplies haul, but I want to film this first where I update y'all on Wilbur. This whole vlog was taken like kind of a long while ago, honestly. Let's see, today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 3.34 p.m. Yeah, like, Miss Hillary who? Exactly. Um, I myself am sick. You know, I love Wilbert so much that I decided to get sick too. And my dad is getting sick as well. And that I have to blame for my older brother because he was coughing a lot before leaving to go to the Bay Area. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, that he was coughing a lot. But now I've been coughing a lot today and supposedly my dad's also getting sick now too. So, you know, it's great. Um, I don't feel the worst and it's definitely not COVID. I mean, I could get tested, but I'm pretty sure it's negative because like I don't have any COVID symptoms. I just, actually I will get tested later, but I don't have any COVID symptoms. You know, it's just like a lot of coughing. It's a little stuffy up here, a little runny, but I'm not like congested to the point where like I can't breathe or I can't taste anything. Like I can close my mouth and still breathe out my nose. But you know, it's just like one of those things where like a little bit of mucus runs out of your nose and it's like really annoying because it'll just like continue running and just like, 
you know yeah it's a little bit runny on this nostril but my nose still feels really dry so my mom warned me to be careful of bloody noses which i am i've been drinking my water but anyway this update is not about me it's about wilbert right so since you've last seen him he's gone so much stronger and he's gone so much more energized like he's been taking his medication he's been eating he's been peeing been pooping he hasn't been vomiting which is really really good yeah so overall he is getting better and yesterday he growled at my dad for the first time because Wilbur is uh, definitely not a dog. He acts like a human and at least for me, he has never bitten me because I always ask for consent before, you know, touching him and like he's very straightforward with how you touch him. Like if he likes it, if he doesn't like it, if he moves his head away because he doesn't want to be touched there and so on. So, you know, I've always respected Wilbur's boundaries and his consent as well. But yeah, sometimes Wilbur wants to eat on his own depending on what it is. But usually we have to forcefully feed him, which is something my dad does because he is much much stronger than my mom and me my dad is better suited for situations like this if you cannot tell so yeah wilbur has been eating and then sometimes when he would eat he's like a very picky eater but you know it's, it's good that he's been eating at least but back to the growling right he growled at my dad for the first time yesterday and i was so happy to hear him growl because that means that he finally has the strength to growl right he's getting stronger because before like he wouldn't let you do certain things to him but after getting sick you know he's too tired to react and now he has enough energy to react so that just means a lot it it really does make me happy it makes all of us happy really knowing that he is getting better and then last night when we went to go on a walkie walkie wilbur is a husky if you cannot tell and huskies typically make a lot of weird noises and wilbur does make a lot of weird noises definitely especially towards nolan and so last night wilbur made his first weird noise to nolan because nolan couldn't stop running around him and my mom and i were just so happy at that moment because wilbur finally has the strength to use his voice Wilbur's starting to act more like himself, so he is definitely getting better. However, last night, at some point last night, he coughed out blood, so that's like all over his bed upstairs. So my dad was cleaning that this morning. But that was like the only concerning thing he has done since. Maybe it might be a side effect of his medication, don't really know, but like my dad is better suited for situations like this. But at least Wilbur hasn't done it again. But overall, yeah, Wilbur is getting better. If you compare a picture of him from when we took him to the hospital to now it's very much night and day like the differences are that noticeable but like i'll take a picture of him after I record this he's just sleeping right now by the couch so yeah but wilbur's doing all right really happy and you know only only looking up from here but yeah we love wilbur so much we treat wilbur like family because he is family and this household has been really weird since wilbur got sick a lot more silent and just not what we're used to so it's really really good to see wilbur acting more like himself now and um i'll leave it there i think that's enough updating for you all i just really really want to give an update on wilbur because this whole vlog has just been wilbur 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 for the most part and not necessarily me 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 you know like i expected to have like a cute self-care vlog during like the hurricane or whatever rainstorm right skincare and coloring books and maybe even reading you know like i thought it would be a really cute self-care vlog during miss hillary but that wasn't the case not that i view wilbur as an inconvenience because again he is family Family. But right now I'm just really emphasizing Wilbur because pretty much this whole vlog has been about him So yeah, he's doing better. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching Also, I do want to mention that other than like the trees that like kind of blew over at my house There aren't really any other obvious damages around my area Which were really fortunate because I've seen like especially the desert part of California where everything is very muddy Cars are stuck in the mud rocks are falling over and things like that like very physical storms damages so i'm really fortunate that the worst damages my family has experienced is those two trees really fortunate if you are also affected by miss hillary genuinely i hope all of you are doing okay like i know a lot of us californians are very live in the moment joking you know never take anything seriously but that's just how we californians are so yeah if you actually have you know suffered from the storm i hope you all are okay i know it's not easy to just suddenly get this amount of rain in such a short period of time so yeah genuinely hope all of your families are okay your homes are okay just your everything is okay okay yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time or next week tuesdays and fridays let's see how long i can keep this up when the school year starts so yeah thank you so much for watching t2io peace